Welcome to this presentation. The following will explain what a social atmosphere movement is, as well as what it promotes, an open source society or resource-based economy. According to Google Gemini, this is what a social atmosphere movement is about. A movement that aims to change the overall feeling or mood of society. This is a more metaphorical use of atmosphere. An example here could be social movements that promote greater inclusivity or challenge existing power structures. According to ChatGPT, this is what a social atmosphere movement is about. A social atmosphere movement suggests a collective effort aimed at changing or influencing the social environment or ambience within a community or society. It may involve initiatives focused on improving social interactions, fostering inclusivity, promoting positive values, or addressing societal issues. The movement could encompass various activities such as community organizing, advocacy, awareness campaigns, or cultural events aimed at creating a more supportive, equitable, and harmonious social atmosphere for all members of society. And finally, according to Microsoft Copilot, a social atmosphere movement represents a departure from traditional structures, embracing network dynamics, and fostering a global sense of interconnectedness. It's a call for collective agency beyond established boundaries. So, now that you understand what the goal of what a social atmosphere movement is, how do we obtain that goal? The answer to that is an open source society or resource-based economy as advocated by the Venus Project. The Venus Project presents a comprehensive vision for a new global civilization centered on human well-being and environmental sustainability. This vision advocates for a societal redesign that integrates automation and technology intelligently to enhance the quality of life for all individuals, prioritizing their needs over profits. Current societal problems, such as war, hunger, poverty, and bigotry, are attributed to the shortcomings of our present-day system. Despite having abundant resources and advanced technologies, these issues persist due to our reliance on political and monetary solutions. The proposed solution lies in the intelligent application of science and technology, coupled with more efficient resource management. The concept of a resource-based economy is introduced where all goods and services are universally accessible without the need for money, credit, barter, or servitude. This requires declaring all resources as the common heritage of humanity. In this envisioned society, scientific and technical alliances would collaborate without the interference of money or politics to address global challenges and promote unity and restoration. The Venus Project emphasizes a systems approach to city design, focusing on resource conservation and the dissemination of sustainable practices. The ultimate goal is to enhance human life and protect the environment through constant advancements in technology. This requires global cooperation among nations to improve the well-being of all individuals, recognizing that collective intelligence benefits everyone. By embracing this vision and continuing to experiment with social structures, we can transcend our current limitations and usher in a new era of civilization that is truly worthy of human potential. The concept of an open source society represents a novel approach to societal organization, departing from traditional economic models reliant on currency and trade. Instead, it advocates for intelligent resource management inspired by principles observed in nature. The primary aim of this paradigm shift is to establish a social system that efficiently fulfills the needs of humanity while prioritizing sustainability and minimizing environmental harm. In an open source society, resources, knowledge, materials, and production tools are not seen as commodities to be hoarded, but as shared foundations for collective progress. Imagine a world where scientific discoveries are openly accessible, where educational materials are constantly improved upon by educators around the globe, and where blueprints for sustainable technologies are freely available. This is the essence of the open source society, where knowledge becomes the primary resource and collaboration the driving force. Within our current societal framework, known as free market capitalism, decision-making predominantly lies within the realms of politics and business, often overlooking inherent flaws. Despite the emergence of social and ecological challenges, 
there exists a reluctance to question the fundamental socioeconomic structure we operate within. This complacency persists even as issues such as poverty, mental health concerns, environmental degradation, and violence escalate. As humanity progresses in knowledge and understanding, guided by scientific principles, there's a growing recognition of the need for systemic change. Yet, our social structures remain largely unchanged, relying on outdated practices that fail to address modern complexities. Power is often vested in politicians lacking expertise in social organization, while corporations wield control over finite resources for their own benefit, perpetuating inequality and exploitation. Although science has revolutionized many aspects of our lives, it has yet to significantly impact the current social system, which clings to inefficient and outdated practices. Political leaders are entrusted with managing societal issues, despite their limited expertise in technical matters such as resource management. Similarly, corporations exploit resources for profit, leading to disparities and a system that favors some over others. Moreover, the current debt-based monetary system perpetuates inequality, leaving some without access to essential resources. This disconnect between our economic system and the natural world exacerbates problems and inhibits sustainable progress. Therefore, it's imperative to reevaluate our societal structures and prioritize human needs alongside environmental preservation. Understanding that humans require more than just physical necessities, an effective society must address the interconnected nature of physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Public health, environmental sustainability, and equitable social structures are essential components of a successful society. Recognizing the shortcomings of the current economic model, the proposal for an open-source society advocates for collaboration, sustainability, and efficiency. By embracing these principles, we can pave the way for a more equitable and sustainable future for all. The key components of an open-source society are 1. Resource accounting Resource accounting lies at the heart of an open-source society, embodying the principle of responsible and sustainable resource management. Inspired by the intricate balance observed in the natural world, an open-source society prioritizes intelligent allocation of resources over market-driven or profit-centric approaches. Through meticulous accounting and analysis, decision-making processes are guided by scientific principles and the collective well-being of society. Recognizing the finite nature of our planet's resources, resource accounting aims to optimize utilization while minimizing waste and environmental impact. By systematically tracking resource flows, assessing ecological footprints, and implementing measures to ensure equitable distribution, an open source society strives to create a resilient and thriving ecosystem where resources are utilized efficiently and in harmony with the natural world. Through transparent and accountable resource accounting practices, the society endeavors to safeguard the integrity of the environment and secure a prosperous future for generations to come. 2. Dynamic Equilibrium In an open-source society guided by dynamic equilibrium principles, the focus is on maintaining a delicate balance between resource consumption and natural regeneration rates. This approach emphasizes the need for continuous monitoring and adaptive management strategies to ensure the sustainability of resource utilization practices. By carefully assessing the carrying capacity of ecosystems and understanding the limits of resource availability, efforts are made to prevent overexploitation and environmental degradation. Through the implementation of innovative technologies and sustainable practices, such as renewable energy systems and regenerative agriculture, the goal is to foster a harmonious relationship between human activities and the natural world. Moreover, education and public awareness campaigns play a crucial role in promoting responsible stewardship of resources and fostering a culture of environmental consciousness. By striving for dynamic equilibrium, an open-source society aims to secure the well-being of current and future generations while safeguarding the integrity of the planet's ecosystems. 3. Strategic Design Strategic design in a resource-based economy or open-source society entails a fundamental departure from the conventional approach to product creation. Here, goods are meticulously crafted with longevity in mind, 
Rather than being engineered for planned obsolescence to perpetuate consumption cycles in the market-driven paradigm, designers prioritize durability, repairability, and recyclability, aiming to maximize the lifespan of products and minimize waste generation. By embracing modular designs and employing sustainable materials, the emphasis shifts from short-term profitability to long-term sustainability. This approach not only mitigates the environmental impact of consumption, but also fosters a culture of responsible resource management, laying the foundation for a more resilient and equitable society. 4. Automation In an open-source society, automation serves as a cornerstone for achieving efficiency and abundance while reducing dependency on conventional labor paradigms. Through the strategic implementation of advanced technologies, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and autonomous systems, automation streamlines production processes, optimizes resource utilization, and enhances overall productivity. By minimizing the need for manual labor, individuals are freed from repetitive tasks, enabling them to pursue more creative and fulfilling endeavors. Moreover, automation facilitates the equitable distribution of resources by ensuring consistent and efficient production without the constraints of traditional employment models. This fosters a society where individuals can access the goods and services they need to thrive, promoting a higher quality of life for all members. Additionally, automation allows for the conservation of resources and reduction of waste, contributing to the sustainability of the ecosystem and the preservation of the planet for future generations. Through the strategic integration of automation, a resource-based economy paves the way for a more prosperous and equitable society. 5. Access-Based Economy In an open-source society, the transition to an access-based economy represents a fundamental departure from traditional notions of ownership towards a system where goods and services are universally accessible through efficient distribution mechanisms. By prioritizing access over individual ownership, resources are shared among community members, promoting collaboration and fostering a sense of collective responsibility. This paradigm shift reduces disparities in access to essential resources, ensuring that everyone has equal opportunities to meet their needs and pursue their aspirations. Through shared ownership and collaborative consumption, the emphasis is placed on maximizing utility and minimizing waste, leading to more sustainable resource management practices. Moreover, an access-based economy cultivates a culture of sharing and cooperation, strengthening social bonds and promoting the well-being of both individuals and communities. In essence, the transition to an access-based economy in a resource-based society reflects a commitment to equity, efficiency, and collective prosperity. 6. Collaboration instead of social competition in an open-source society, collaboration takes precedence over social competition, fostering a culture of cooperation and mutual support. This shift offers numerous advantages, starting with the acceleration of innovation. By sharing knowledge, expertise, and resources, individuals and communities can collectively build upon existing ideas and discoveries, leading to more rapid advancements and breakthroughs across various fields. Additionally, collaboration promotes inclusivity by ensuring that resources are openly accessible to all, regardless of socioeconomic status or background. This empowerment enables individuals and communities who might otherwise be marginalized or excluded from traditional competitive systems to actively participate and contribute to societal progress. Moreover, collaboration cultivates a sense of shared responsibility, where everyone is encouraged to contribute to the common pool of resources for the collective benefit of society. This collective approach not only fosters greater social cohesion, but also enhances the resilience and sustainability of the open-source society, creating a more equitable and prosperous future for all. 7. Abundance instead of scarcity in an open-source society, the foundational principle of abundance supersedes the traditional notion of scarcity. Unlike conventional economic models driven by scarcity, which often perpetuate competition and inequity, an open-source society operates on the belief that there are more than enough resources to meet the needs of all individuals within the constraints of sustainable management. 
By harnessing advanced technologies, scientific knowledge, and collaborative efforts, an open-source society strives to unlock the vast potential for abundance that lies within the planet's finite resources. Through efficient resource allocation, innovation, and shared ownership, scarcity is transformed into abundance, where the focus shifts from hoarding and competition to cooperation and equitable distribution. In this paradigm, access to essential resources becomes a universal right, enabling individuals and communities to thrive without fear of deprivation or exclusion. By embracing abundance as a guiding principle, a resource-based economy paves the way for a more just, sustainable, and prosperous future for all. By shifting away from the traditional monetary exchange system, we can create a more equitable and sustainable society where resources are shared for the benefit of all. While not without challenges, an open-source society offers a promising alternative to our current unsustainable practices. An open source society is a direct response to our scientific understanding of the world. It would use this knowledge to infer how to best meet human needs in the most efficient and sustainable way. Just like open source software development, this society would be based on collaboration and freely available information. With this approach, there would be little need for individual opinions if our collective goal is to maximize sustainability and economic efficiency. An open-source society is not a utopian ideal, but a call for a new economic paradigm. It is about fostering a collaborative spirit where knowledge and resources are viewed not as tools for individual gain, but as building blocks for a more prosperous and equitable future. By embracing this open-source approach, we can unlock the true potential of human ingenuity and create a world of abundance for all. Overall, an open-source society represents a departure from traditional socioeconomic models, prioritizing sustainability, collaboration, and equitable access to resources. By embracing these principles, it aims to create a more resilient and inclusive society for current and future generations. The following websites advocate an open-source society or resource-based economy. The Social Atmosphere Movement is the open-source version of the Zeitgeist Movement. This video is not under copyright, it is under Creative Commons. To promote an open-source society, I invite you to download this video and re-upload it to spread the idea to promote a better social atmosphere. Thank you for your attention. self-evident that all men are created equal. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all in this together and should act as one single world towards one single goal. We have heard the rationales offered by the superpowers. We know who speaks for the nations. But who speaks for the human species? Who speaks for Earth? I'm talking about the resource-based economy The scientific method for social equality Where our technology allows for life in global abundance And the choice between contender and incumbent is redundant Welcome to this pale blue dot in our galaxy Where we fear the finality of our own mortality And we worry about our salary and consumption of calories While famine and war have caused another fatality We live in a finite world, but our need for growth is infinite Our relationship with money is so damn intimate We can't slow down, we want more, oh we're so into it Intimate? It? it would be a sin to quit So now the whole planet's in debt We owe quite a tall stack But it's literally impossible to pay it all back Because money is debt created with interest You listening? actually more money owed than exists in the whole system. That's a pyramid scheme. Not just mean individuals skimming the cream. Not just smoke-filled rooms with the supremely powerful convene. It seems a systemic flaw is the theme to this meme. 
Today's system defines the wins and losers with competitions And losers are created by definition Our leaders are ruled by political ambition Not a single one of them is a trained technician It would be insane to listen to their claims I'd rather use the scientific method to arrive at decisions So pardon my sedition, but I stand by my division And I fight against this system with a thought for ammunition It's a train of thought, it's a frame of sorts A campaign where you can't just feign support The train of thought can't be claimed or bought it's an idea, there's no one you can blame in court It's a train of thought, it's not a game or sport It pertains to humane and sustained support Like a chain is wrought, it can be trained and taught To anyone with a brain, let me explain in short I'm talking about the resource-based economy The scientific method for social equality No political borders, no one giving you orders It's the wealth worth giving to our sons and daughters I'm talking about the resource-based economy The scientific method for social equality We can only try to fit the mold So instead of growth and jobs, let's set ourselves a new goal A bold, high standard of living for the planet as a whole In a sustainable way for every human soul, young and old Let go of your borders, time to think worldwide No more democracy in politics, all that's been tried Instead, we use the scientific method as a guide To arrive at decisions on how technology is applied And if we want to provide, we can't take a resource and abuse it We need to keep track of what we have and how fast we use it System theory tells us everything in nature is connected When we cut down to many trees the ecosystem is affected So in production it makes sense to build everything to last Planned obsolescence should be a thing of the past And if we design fast evolving technologies to be modular We can replace old parts with a new and more popular To distribute our goods, the shortest distance is preferred To transfer from there what we can make here is absurd Then we evaluate demand for goods and build hubs to receive them Like a library where you check things out for as long as you need them All of this is doable with today's technology As long as we apply the right methodology Cause scarcity is technically outdated, you follow me? This way we can live in abundance and global equality. I'm talking about the resource-based economy, the scientific method for social equality. Where technology allows a land and global abundance, and the choice between contender and incompetent is redundant. I'm talking about the resource-based economy, the scientific method for social equality. Every time the transition is about damn time, the planet is shared by all the key to understanding volition We don't act without it, it's behind any decision There's no human nature to behavior, just predisposition That has to be supported by the surrounding conditions So the mission is one we should all agree to pick No police, no prisons, no referee to trick Build a system with no incentive for harmful behavior Cause if you remove the carrot, you don't need the stick There would be nothing to gain from trying to mislead Mistreat or deceive, no incentive to leave What could you hope to achieve? Anything you need, you can get for free And it would always be available so no reason for greed 10% of the population makes the system run So instead of working 9 to 5, live your life for fun Travel the world, raise a family, read a book Build something beautifully useful or learn to cook It's this generation's defining challenge Extraordinaire, it's not complicated, just a comprehensive affair For some it's a big mouthful, for others a breath of fresh air Don't be scared, cause it can be done, don't despair Educate yourself on how the current system's impaired But please do more than just make other people aware when it comes down to it, we have two things to declare One, we all care, and two, we all share That train of thought, it's a frame of sorts A campaign where you can't just feign support The train of thought can't be claimed or bought It's an idea, there's no one you can blame in court It's a train of thought, it's not a game or sport It pertains to humane and sustained support Like a chain is wrought, it can't be trained and taught To anyone with a brain, let me explain in short Resource-based economy the scientific method for social equality No political borders, no one giving you orders It's a wealth worth giving to our sons and daughters I'm talking about the resource-based economy the scientific method for social equality Take care of the planet and meet everybody's need Make the world that free, just live and let me I'm talking about the resource-based economy the scientific method for social equality Where technology allows a lot of global abundance I'm talking about the resource-based
wish I could say everything is just peachy. Yeah. Living life is so easy, but it's time. They got everyone believing that's just the way it is. And so there's nothing to be done. We got everything we need to provide for each other.